good? Yeah. Hey guys, where the heck is the adorable method by MakerBot? It got taken away from us. Why? Because it is uh, oh. over in Rochester and we ran out of space. We ran out of space? Showroom space, yeah. And we wanted okay. to get uh, spread out our printers a little bit. Yeah. With the face. Um, oh my. Basically the same, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> you smacked the camera. Hey, no, be a good idea. This is the 150 or 120? 120. 120. If you switched the 370. I said that before. And the 250 and flip them. That was Ken's idea. Be a spot. Right. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, come on, you guys! <laughs> Are you guys okay? Nay, Sarah, kind of where they were there, saying it wasn't yeah. gonna fit. <laughs> Fits perfect. So leave it Don't break it. No problem. Thanks. Got your box. Oh, thank you. Are we gonna open this? Figure out what this is. Yeah. This is my town. Yeah. Flexible. Nope. Oh, oh cables. Get out of town. It comes with a free magnifying glass. Calibration. Is it magnetic? It is not magnetic. Oh. It works just like the 70, where it's got that lever, and then all these little clips go into slots on the actual tray. Way more industrial looking than the method. So what are these boxes? Spoolless filament. What does that mean? So that means there's no plastic spool, oh, it's just know. wound inside of the box. Wow. So that's that's good because it's cheaper, you don't have to manufacture Sweet. Now, would we ruin the spool if we looked inside? Probably. <laughs> I don't know if we can. It's a possibility. It looks like there. it's in an airtight bag built through there. Okay. So you probably can't look in it anyway. What are your first thoughts, Ken? It's big and it's identical to the rest of the F-Series. Is that a good thing? Yeah, well, because we know those work really well, so I feel pretty good about this. <laughs> really like the sheet metal on the top. That's pretty cool. Where does this go? There's two slots back there. Show me. Right there? Yep. So these slide in, you'll see the chip there, so the machine recognizes what filament it is. Okay. Also tracks how much is left on the spool. So basically it just takes um, however much material you're using in the model and subtracts that from how much is in the, the canister when you run the print. Hmm. Oh! It says it's just idle. Yep, it's ready. Okay. That was so fast. That's good. I feel like the annoying parent watching their kids do firsts. <laughs> Wait, do it again for the camera. We have to push this in until the filament firmly stops. So on the uh, 250 and 370, you just set the material in, and then you... It'll, it has a helper motor at the bottom. This one doesn't have helper motors at the bottom to push the filament up to the print heads. We okay. do that manually. Okay, now let's try. Very I couldn't even hear it. Yeah, these things are super quiet.
Let's see it. Oh boy. A little hot. <laughs> A little hot. Yeah, ask us questions. I don't think it must be that intense. <laughs> All right, yeah, it looks I like you're going to hire or fire him. Uh, so, guys, you just got your first print done. It looks very it's familiar. One. It's yeah. this one. Uh, what are your thoughts? How's the quality? How easy was it to install? Um, anything else you want to add? It looks good. It looks just like the prints off our other systems, right? Um, so pretty much just hit our expectations. Um, it was pretty easy to install, other than being heavy, right? Yeah. That was probably the most difficult part. Other than that, you know, we probably had the whole thing set up in what, like 15 minutes? We were up and running. Um, we did the actual setup and calibration probably under 30 minutes. Yeah. That was pretty fast. That was uh, faster than I expected. Um, yeah, I, I expected to run into at least some sort of issue. You know, because it happens when you're unboxing new equipment. All right, so let's look at the print. How is the quality? Um, it looks good. Yeah. Um, all the layers are, are even. We got a request to use a turntable to show our prints better, <laughs> and we actually got one. So that should be the next clip. Um, what was it? Was it the lowest rated turntable on Amazon that we bought? Uh, it and did not have great ratings. Um, how much was it? It was like maybe eight bucks. Um, but it works. It doesn't have an off button, so you have to take the battery out. <laughs> so I hope I didn't drain the battery. But anyway, so let's cut to that. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a comment below telling us that you liked it so that we keep making things like this. Otherwise, we might lose all motivation. Subscribe to our channel and you'll get more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.